guys, Jenny here. I'm on my webcam. I was thinking to myself, what if I did like a, a Jenny's thoughts about stuff. I just got home from work. I work at night shift, so I get off of work at 5 and then I drive home. But tonight, because I started early, I left at 4.40, which meant I got home a lot earlier. And right now I'm enjoying my rosé out of a solo cup. And these, I am obsessed obsessed with these. Like whenever I do a favorites video, I feel like it'll just be these. And then I'm watching a Zoella video and I have Pokemon Go going on right now. I'm a level 22. I have to get 100,000 XP to move up. Luckily at work, I work and you can just access a Pokestop from my desk so I don't even have to move. So I'm constantly refreshing and I still like to get to 100,000. I'm at 22,737. Anyway, Team Instinct. You can't see this. It's like really, how do I make it focus? If you're on Team Instinct, give this video a like. So anyway, so while I'm lying in bed, since I'm connected to my Wi-Fi, if any Pokemon just happen to be hanging out in my room, I'm going to catch them. I just caught a sand, uh, I don't know their name. So I got that, it's the sand dinosaur, the dinosaur that has like, that has like an igloo type back that's yellow. Caught one of him. But I feel like it's always the same ones that show up everywhere I am. It's always the rat, it's always that bat, it's always that snake, the pigeon, that sand thing with the igloo back. Eevee, the little squirrel, it's always around oh that like tiger dog the tiger dog with the like mane and the tail it's always around but nothing else I feel like all the random stuff is elsewhere but it's places where other people frequent so I I don't know it's just weird it makes me think is this just my phone is this just me or because but, but I know like my co-workers like if I see something on my desk at work my co-workers can see it, so it can't just be my phone. It's just, I don't understand why the cool stuff isn't there. I still have so many things to get. When I started Pokemon Go, first of all, I started three weeks after my co-workers. I'm so competitive that I was like, I have to beat them. That's all I cared about. It was like, I have to get to their level or beyond. I didn't grow up with Pokemon. I It wasn't something that I was into, so I honestly literally thought it was just trading cards. And so when the game came out, my coworker Daniel was super into it the day it came out. Shoot, my screensaver is coming on. That's really weird. Hold on. I can't see myself. I can't talk. I can't see myself. Uh, my coworker Daniel got it the day it came out and was telling me about it, and I just was like, I didn't understand it. Then all my coworkers that worked my same shift, they got it and were talking about it, and I didn't care about it. I just wanted to see what it looked like live, like when one was there, I wanted to see. Then I was watching, I'm obsessed with Kelly Ripa, I was watching her talk show, and they did like a whole segment teaching people Pokemon Go, and I was like, fine, 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 I'm gonna get it. Got it, so I got it three weeks after it came out, and good lord, I am obsessed. I guess my thoughts today are gonna be on Pokemon Go because I'm obsessed. So I'm on level 22. I am really bad at fighting in gyms and I just figured out, I just figured out how to collect the coins because I kept leaving my guys in gyms and I'd be like, where are my coins? And then my coworker was like, uh, you have to click the thingy to get them, which I didn't know. But anyway, I want to show you what I have, but it like does this, the light isn't working with my camera focus. But Basically, I'm like missing all the really cool ones. I don't live by the beach. I don't, I just kind of live, I guess, in a just boring area because I've not caught a ghost yet. The ghost ones I would love to catch. There's like a couple, like this guy that he's called the Night. Can you see him? The Nido King. He was hanging out in my room. I had no balls left. Couldn't get him. But this past weekend, I went to Malibu and in one day, I caught all these really cool ones. I caught the little magnet guy. I just caught really cool ones and it was really, really exciting. But yeah, I'm still missing so many. And when I look at all my friends' Pokedex, they have ones that I haven't even seen yet. And it's not fair. So the guy at work who I really wanted to pass, he's been using a lot of logic and calculation and math a lot of math to level up. He's on level 22. He's been on level 22 for about a week now. I just got on level 22 yesterday. No, 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 Saturday. I got on level 22 on Saturday. No, Sunday, Sunday. I don't know how much XP he has, but I'd say I'm a quarter of the way. So now my new goal is to beat him because he was so far ahead of me at the beginning, but because 
you have to get more and more and more XP each level. Now we're neck and neck, and if I could beat him and get to 23, that would be amazing. Oh my god, my freaking uh, screensaver. I feel like if I'm using my computer, my screensaver shouldn't come on. My screensaver, incidentally, is a vision board, so at least when it comes on, I'm inspired for a second. So anyway, what else do I have thoughts on? Oh, so before I left work today, like literally the second before I left work today, my coworker IMs me uh, a link to Russian Mafia tombstones. You have not looked up a Russian Mafia tombstone. Do it right now. Pause this video. Go do it right now. It will blow your mind. They are so awesome. They're like these life-size tombstones. They are so badass. They're so awesome. And I'm like, what cemetery would allow you to have them, first of all? But how cool are they? Look it up, because basically, they do a life-size version of you. And there was this one with this guy. He was kind of like a heavy set guy. He looks like, you know, he's enjoying life, enjoying his food. And he has this platter of food in front of him. It's like a bountiful feast with wine. And there's like grapes and bread and meats and cheeses and all this stuff. On his tombstone with a picture of him. And I'm pretty sure he was smoking a cigar in it. I couldn't tell. His like hands were kind of like this. But he looked like, if he wasn't, he looked like the kind of guy that would enjoy a good cigar. And he looked jolly and happy, and what a way to show future people. Oh, oh, I get this guy right away. Walking by, looking at tombstones. Oh, look, Joe Schmo. Totally get him. It's really cool, though. Google it. Oh, my God, my freaking screensaver again. At least it's a motivational quote went away. And then there's a picture of Mary Kate Olsen because I really liked her out. My password isn't working. Don't get sidetracked by people who are not on track. That is a motivational quote. It's frozen. Okay. So anyway, thank you for watching. These have been Thoughts by Jenny. I hope everyone has a wonderful day today. And if you have a goal, go out there and do it today. Uh, that's all I have for you. I might do this more. I really like this Thoughts by Jenny. All right, then. I hope you guys have a great day, and I will catch you in a different video. This has been Thoughts by Jenny.